7 to 9, Saturday night, the Famous Brown Radio Show. Saturday night, 7 to 9, be there or be square. Only on 990 AM and 101.3 FM. Radio, W-R-E-J. It's that Hello, everybody. Everybody, hello. It's that time again for the Saturday Night Stroll with Famous Brown. Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. How about you, Captain? You eat enough turkey? Great, yes, sir. Turkey? Can barely walk. Ham? Still, you got had that, had it all. Candy, yeah, mac and cheese. Very much. Yep, that mm-hmm. too, yes, sir. Me too. Yes, indeed. Well, we got a great show tonight, and I'm going to do a little commentary later on tonight. We're going to talk about the shooting down in Chesapeake at Walmart. Oh, my gosh. We're going to talk about one casino resort entertainment complex. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about people. What's going on with people? A lot of angry people out there. Hmm. Well... Get ready to go into the holiday season. I hope y'all ain't spent too much money yesterday on what they call Black Friday. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the credit card. Yeah, I'm going to throw some Christmas songs in here tonight for y'all. All right. Well, I'd like to let you know tonight's show is sponsored by One Casino Resort and Entertainment Complex. Got that right. It's more than just a casino. It's a whole entertainment complex. They're going to have radio station there, TV studio. They're going to have an event hall where y'all can rent and bring your own show. Mm. going to have shopping, a whole lot of shopping, all kinds of stores, restaurants, more than just a casino. going to have a nice park where you can come and walk around, look at Mother Nature, Ride your bicycle. Walk around with the kids. You ain't got to go in the casino park. There's going to be so much other stuff to do. Do y'all get it? Do you really get it? All right, this is Famous Brown. Saturday Night Stroll. I'm your host. I'm Preston Brown. The engineer for the night. The one and only, Calvin. Good evening. They said the man with three first names, huh? That's right. But like they say, hello, everybody, everybody, hello. Am I here? Here I am. Yes, indeed. Broadcasting right out the hip do I did in the boss capital city of Richmond, VA. Broadcasting around the world on the Internet, y'all. This is the only time when a lot of folks leave the satellite radio and come back to the real radio. 
from 7 to 9 every Saturday night. They turn them satellites off. That's right. Come on back home to where the music is real. You'll listen to Richmond's number one Saturday night show. And nobody gets down like Famous Brown. Want to say hello to Charmaine, Charlene, rather. Redman checking in. Curtis Bowman checking in. You know, they shot six deers tonight down in Charles City. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> I go get me some deer meat this year, y'all. Uh, tastes like prime rib. Hmm. One of a kind of fresh taste. No additives. Hmm. All right, I'm ready to do my thing tonight. All right. Real estate later be checking in tonight. Good. I'm going to talk about the jury bench tonight, y'all. If you got some jury around the house, you need to get it repaired, I'm going to tell you where to go. If you got a watch too big, you got a ring too small, you want some gold around your neck, some gold in your ear, I got it for you. Nancy Houston checking in. She said hi. Well, hello, hi, Nancy. Hi. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's the sounds of Grover Washington in the background. This is the way we do it on Saturday nights. So glad that you stopped by to listen to the show. Frank and Miss Betty are on their way back to Roxboro, North Carolina. I told him to take his time. Hope they got there safely. Should be there by now. But wherever they at, I know they got one thing on them. They got famous brown stove. Giving a shout out to the East End, the West End, North Side, South Side, Henrico County, Charles City, Ashland, Virginia, Petersburg, all surrounding counties. Hello, everybody, everybody, hello. This is the Saturday Night Stroll. Beverly Waller checking in. She said, hey, famous. Yeah, hello to you. And hello, everybody. Feeling good on a Saturday night. I got everything I wanted to eat except some chitlins. <laughs> I'm going to get them chitlins. Make me want to do some pig feet too. Yeah. Right. Want to give a shout out to all the nurses and doctors that's working the hospitals over the holiday. Saving lives, making people feel better. A whole lot of folks still get that COVID-19. Still there. Still there. Ain't going nowhere. Mm -mm. So we have to salute our nurses and our doctors all over the place. Want to salute our police officers tonight. They got a hard job now because people mean, angry. And a whole lot of people got guns. That's true. So I want to salute our Richmond, Petersburg, and Rocker County Police Department tonight. And our first responders. One for them Amalans now. Some of us wouldn't make it, y'all. So we got to say hello to everybody. This is the season for the reason. And that's to give thanks. Sometimes you got to sit back and think about all the good things that you got. All the bad things that could have happened to you. And you come out smiling and happy. But somebody care somewhere. All right, we care over here. Because we're going to mix the right music for you. So let me kick this show off and, and shut my mouth up for a little while. All right, now, that's James Brown, y'all. Another one of them Brad Brown boys. Santa Claus, go straight to the ghetto. Hitch up your reindeer, uh, go straight to the ghetto. Santa Claus, go straight to the ghetto. The kids are going to love you so uh, Leave a toy for Johnny Leave a doll for Mary Leave something pretty for Johnny And don't forget about Gary Santa Claus Go straight to the ghetto Santa Claus Go straight Tell him James Brown sent you <laughs> Go straight to the ghetto You know that I know what you will see Cause that was once me Hit it, hit it You see mothers and soul brothers Santa Claus. 
Yes, this is Otis. Well, tell her she is going to hear me one way or the other. Either she steps outside or either she's going to hear me through the door. You know, Bone Creature, ever since you and I stopped seeing each other, I ain't been doing nothing but thinking, thinking, thinking. I ain't been able to sleep. I ain't been able to do nothing that required you being in it. Baby, I know that we've had rough times before, but we got through it. Like the time all the power went off in the house and we had to finish cooking the collard greens on the Happy Eater, but we did it together. All the time that the froster didn't work on the microwave and the turkey was still frozen, remember we had to get chicken down from Larry's Long Neck Lead Quarter Late Night Chicken House. Remember? But now I don't have you and that's why I'm having these Christmas blues. Yes, Christmas blues. Sometimes I wonder, was it worth it? Waking up early in the morning to go to the little gym to get you three pickle eggs, some Lay's plain potato chips, and a Coca-Cola. I said, self, was it worth it? And myself answered back, yes, it was real worth it. I miss you, and I love you so much. I'll do anything to make you mine again. I'm also lonely, so, so sad and blue. I'm spending Christmas Day without you. I'm very, very sad and lonely. But anyway, let me tell you something. I do have you and the kids a present this year. I had y'all a brother last year, but you know, my alternator broke in my truck, and you know, I need my truck for the, um, for the go to work. And so, I had to take the receipt, take all the presents back, and fix my alternator. But I do got you a present this year. I didn't have time to wrap it up, I got in some brown pick and save bag. Also, I got some wine. I got some cold duck, baby. You need to open the door, he quacking. I remember one Christmas, maybe three Christmases ago, we ran out of ham, and you said you wanted another ham. But you really didn't say you wanted another ham, I just figured that's what you wanted. So they had a, a 12 dozen crab special, so I got you a dozen of big blue crabs. I mean, I'm just saying, I just hope this Christmas is a little different. You know, I just want a little turkey, a little that sweet, sweet plum dressing. Um, you know, I just want the kids to be happy. And you know, I, Bone Quay said, I know when we got married, I vowed to give you diamonds and pearls. But when I hurt my back at work, my workman's comp could only get zirconia and gander necklaces. I also said that when we moved out of your mama's house, we were going to move into a place double her size. That's why I got two trailers and put them together. Yes, baby, double wide. All those things I done for you and the kids, but I still have these Christmas blues because I'm spending Christmas out the kids and you. I love you, Bunquisha, I love you. But you know what, one thing I want to tell you this year about Christmas last year when you served up all the turkey and everything, and you know, all the, all of the trimmings and everything, when the cranberry dressing got round to me, there was none left. So please, could you, I will, I hope you have two cans of cranberry dressing in there because I love that cranberry sauce. Please, thank you, and please open the door, baby, it's cold. <laughs> How you like that one? Kevin oh, that, just, that's good. Kevin that, just crack it up in here, That sums that up. That's, uh, <laughs> you never heard that before, have you? No, that's okay. great. Okay. That boy Keisha, isn't it? Uh -huh. Christmas blues. Yep. On the Saturday night stroll. I'm going to do one more Christmas song, then I'm going to get into some oldies, then I'm going to get into some Southern Soul. And uh, 
what you call just check ins that they made it to North Carolina okay. uh, safely. And she's calling all her friends and neighbors, tell them to turn this radio on. Frank told me one guy told him last week that where in the world this station come from? Why didn't you tell me about it? Why? What, what, how long has it been on? He said, been on a year. He said, what took you so long to let us know about it? We like that show. I'm glad that you do. Bells will be ringing The glad, glad news Come from Charles Brown. Please come home for Christmas. That's one of them songs, Kevin, that'll make you get the checkbook out and go shopping. It does. <laughs> make you spend up all your money. Absolutely. Michael Cassio checking in. Hey, Mike. Uh, Patricia Rogers. Rogers, Patricia down checking in. Appreciate you checking in. But uh, we're going to have a good time tonight. And uh, we're going to talk later tonight. You know, it's Thanksgiving and what happened at Walmart should have never happened. Mm. And uh, mm. I've been checking up on it. And uh, it was foolishness. But uh, it is what it is. Here's music coming from. Sound a little bit like Al Green, but it ain't. Sly Johnson, Take Me to the River. On 101.2, 101.3, 101.4, okay. 101.5. One on, all the ones, huh? <laughs>
can tingle all over just to hear it. Effective now. Your station is tuned to the best old school in the city. You can't do this! This is The Stroll with Famous Brand. Real grown folks music. You should leave your food out on the table overnight. Why? You know in this city the roaches will get hit. Roaches? Yeah, I'm talking about those crazy crawling things they call. Okay. Yeah, come one, get it. Yeah, come another one, get it. Everywhere. Talking about them roaches. I had mm. to play that. Kevin. Mm. Mm-hmm. I had to play that song because a whole lot of people been going to everybody's the house grabbing plates. Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. you you gotta be careful where you eat at. Uh, oh yeah. You can't eat at everybody's house. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just a reminder next year, Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner, be careful where you go. Some of them houses got roaches. Public service. <laughs> Public so service in there. I like that you. one. Thank you. All right, you listen to 101.3 FM, 990 AM. This is a Saturday night stroll with Famous Brown. So we just kicking around with some old stuff for you. And I'm going to get down to some Southern Soul in a little bit. Might throw some old Christmas music in there. And like the Cowboys say, hello, everybody. Everybody, hello. Johnny. Johnny Dollar. Lady, 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 why do you holler? Johnny Dollar I can't get no sleep In this noisy street I've got to move I've got to move I've got to find me a quiet There's a man next door With a radio And he plays it All through the night There's a couple in the apartment Above my head That don't do nothing But fuss and fight I can't get no sleep In this noisy street I've got to move I've got to, I've got to find me a quiet
The COVID-19 pandemic has had a major effect on our lives. Many of us are facing challenges that can be stressful, overwhelming, and cause strong emotions in adults and especially among children with behavior challenges. Call Metropolitan Day Counseling Services to get your child's school year and your family back on track. Don't delay. Call Miss Thomas today, 804-321-2595. Metropolitan Day Counseling, where eagles soar, 804-321-2595. Hey, come on down to the jewelry space located at 911 East Manor Road, Collins Springs, Virginia. This is Wayne Jackson. We're located at 911 East Manor Road, Collins Springs, Virginia. As a coach, 220 uh, you, can be, you can reach me at 804 218 We specialize in jewelry repairing, ring sizing, stone replacements, restraining pearls, watch repairing, watch batteries, watch bands. We look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Come see us. Healthcare Staffing of America is looking for heroes just like you. We're now hiring LPNs, RNs, and CNAs. Apply today at 804-597-0123. Full-time, part-time, and per diem shifts available. Weekly and overtime pay. Daily restrictions apply. Plus quarterly bonuses. Health, dental, and vision insurance included. Plus a whole lot more. Healthcare Staffing of America. 804-597-0123. Or go to Healthcare Staffing of America. Here we are. Are you locked up in jail? In jail. We about to bail you out. Call on us. Call Brown Bell Bonnie. Don't you worry, love. We'll bail you out. That's right. If you're locked up, locked up and you need bail, bail, Brown Bell Bonnie doesn't want you to stay in jail no longer than you have to. Call us. 804 732 3561. We'll get you out. Call us. Need bail? Need bail. Don't stay in jail no longer than you have to. Call Brown Bell Bonnie. We'll get you out. We'll get you out. Call us. Call Brown Bell Bonnie. Don't worry. Don't you worry. We'll get you out. Call 732 We'll get you out.
Nice music coming from Roy C, everybody. Talking about rock me all night long. I'm going to rock you till 9 o'clock. Then I'm going home all night long. You'll listen to 101.3 and me. This is the Famous Brown Saturday Night Stroll. Nobody gets down like Famous Brown. Yes, you can. Till 9 o'clock. Yeah, that's it. Going to Facebook. Renee checking in. Real Estate Lady checking in. Tanya Johnson checking in. Oh, we're going to have a good time tonight. I'm taking y'all back. Further than I'm taking you before. Right now, let me give you a little bit more. We're doing it at 8100 Three Chop Road in the West End. This is 101.3 FM 990. Famous Brown getting down. Talking about my wifey, huh?
music coming from Richmond's own Sam the Beast from the East you'll listen to the Saturday Night Stroll with Famous Brown nobody gets down like Famous Brown we're gonna do a little Southern Soul in the next hour but right now I'm old school yeah Wave your hand. Like the preacher said, put your hands on the radio. Ha <laughs> ha. I keep it going now. I keep it going now. I keep it going now. Oh yeah. I keep it going now. 
Yeah. Okay. All right, we're coming up on nine minutes before the eight o'clock hour. Okay. In the 8 o'clock hour at 8.20, we got the real estate lady be checking in tonight. And uh, we're going to do a little Southern Soul, and I'm going to do my little commentary for Thanksgiving. Hope that everybody done had a great, great, great Thanksgiving this year. And like the Cowboys said, hello, everybody, everybody, hello. I'm going to the phone line. And on the phone line, I got the perfect person you need to see for the holiday. Is this Wayne? Hey, famous Brown, how you doing? Well, I got to tell everybody about you and why I got you on the phone line. Let me let me do a nice introduction. <clears throat> now, for everybody that ate a whole lot of food over the holiday and you gained a few pounds, or everybody that said they're a vegetarian and you lost a few pounds, <laughs> and that ring don't fit, that watch don't fit, that necklace need to be taken out or let in, well, I got the person that can take good care of you and he can do it sometime. If he's not real tied up, he'll do it right there while you wait. Sometimes you got to leave it. But I got the man they call the jeweler and he's located at 911 East Nine Mile Road right in the heart of Holland Spring. If you can find Holland Spring High School, you can find the jury man. And his name is Wayne Jefferson. And good evening, Wayne. Welcome to the famous Brown Saturday Night Stroll. Good evening and happy holidays to everybody. Yeah. So, hey, tell everybody some of the things that you can do with jewelry. Okay. So, I mean, if you got special events for the holiday, you can bring your jewelry in and have everything all cleaned and blinging. Um, if you need batteries for your watch, we do a special on watch batteries. Buy one, get one half off. Okay. Um, we do ring sizing. Stone replacement, engraving, restringing pearls. Um, we have a really good um, <clears throat> watchmaker on premises, Cynthia Plummer, and she does most of our watch repairs. And tell them about the custom made jewelry. That, well, you're making something for me right now. I should have it on for Christmas. Oh, but, you have to. Um, tell them about the how you can custom make your jewelry. Okay, if you have scrap gold or scrap silver, you can bring it in. We can melt it down and, and create charms, pendants, nameplates, mm -hmm. rings. I mean, you know, we'll get together and, and, and see what you like and go from there. Yeah, you know, like if you got something that's been in the family for a long time and you want to keep it close to your heart and you want to fix it, he can make it and put a chain on it or, or make a ring out of it, whatever you need to make. Yes, definitely. And not only that, he sells jewelry, and uh, he's got the one thing that's fantastic about uh, the jewelry bench at nine eleven East Nine Mile Road. They got several catalogs. Yeah, the same jewelry that you buy from all the other jewelry stores. He's got it in his catalog. Yes, yeah. and you can pick it out, put a deposit, and you'll have it in there in a couple of days for him. That's right. And uh, a lot of folks don't know this. Now, I'm going to tell, tell you business now. This famous brand. I like <laughs> to keep it real. A lot of these places that you go and buy jewelry, and they got to size the rings up or change, make the necklace longer. This is who do the work. They send the work to him. A lot of the jewelry stores don't have a jeweler, jeweler on, on the premises, and you they said, well, I'll have it for you in a couple of days. Then they call Wayne up. And I also have a, a why you wait um, service as well. So if you're in a big hurry and you need it that day, mm -hmm. I'm your. There you go. And, and let's give you hours and uh, that you open. Okay. So my hours are nine to five, Tuesday through Friday, nine to two on Saturday. Okay. And a lot of the stuff. I know you keep a lot of work, but some of the stuff you can do right there as they wait. And um, mm -hmm. it don't cost a whole lot of money. See, when you go to these jewelry stores and they tell you 40 or $50 to fix something, that's because they got to send it to him. Mm -hmm. So you can cut out the middleman and you can cut out some of the money by carrying it directly to the person that does the work, if that makes sense. And it would be an honor and a pleasure to do work for you. And um, for the holiday, get your jewelry cleaned up. You know, 
you take your jewelry and you put it in this stuff you buy in the store and it really don't clean it like you You need to bring it on down to the jewelry bench and he'll make it look brand spanking new because that's where he's been cleaning my jewelry for years. Sometimes he charged me and sometimes I try to pay him. He don't want to charge me. And I say, I'm going to pay you anyway. No, you ain't got to pay me. Just go ahead. But uh, we want to support his business. Come on down. You got jewelry around the house, been laying around the house. Bring it on down. Let him fix it up. If you got jewelry, don't know what it's worth. Bring it down. He can appraise it for you, give you a bona fide appraisal. Now, he ain't going to do it free. You got to pay him. But uh, if, if you put an insurance on some of your jewelry and stuff, you got to know what it's worth. And you got to have papers on it. So that if somebody steals something or you lose something, you know what to give an insurance company. So bring your jewelry on down and get it uh, appraised. And uh, he ain't going to charge you a whole lot. I hope he don't. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you say, Wayne? No, nah, I ain't gonna beat nobody in the head. I know you don't. You got fat. You got fair prices, and I don't know why you do the work so cheap. But uh, I can't get in your business. But I'm telling you, y- y'all can save some money. Well, where can you go? You go. Hey, you go in the store and you buy a battery. It costs you almost ten dollars. This man gonna put a battery in it for you and charge you ten bucks. You can't beat it. And most of the time you do it if you're not real busy. Do it while you're waiting. So anything, you, yeah, anything else you'd like to say before uh, you leave? Um, I'd just like to say that um, I appreciate everyone that has patronized the jeweler's bench for the 30-plus years that I've been in business. Okay. And if there's any way that I can help you all. And also give a shout-out to Famous Brown, uh, one of the best people I know. And I appreciate all he's doing for the jeweler's bench. Well, I want y'all to go down and don't try to beat the man over the head because the price is so cheap. You wonder how he stay in business. That because he got uh, one, one, one more thing. Uh-huh. People always come looking for me, but look for Cynthia Plummer. She's she's my assistant and um she's a, a ball of fire. She um markets the business, promotes the business just like um, famous Brown does and we I appreciate everything. But we're gonna call her the jury lady. We ain't, just don't say her name. Just say jury lady, just like I got the real estate lady. She's a jury lady. Okay, okay. And uh, for the holiday, if you don't want to get in the big lines at the malls, come on down to the jury bench. They got pocketbooks, watches, rings, and you can look in the catalog and order something special. So when you get it, everywhere you go, everybody ain't going to have the same thing on. So come on down to the jury bench located at 911 East Nine Mile Road. And if you can find Holland Spring High School, you can definitely find the jury bench. Yeah. There you go. Appreciate you calling. Appreciate you checking out the famous brand, Saturday Night Stroll.
thing I do is going to be fun. I can take the phone down the place. Let out the phone to him. Yeah. I can look up. And if he wants, I can look to him. Oh, mama, feel good. Mama, feel good. Oh, mama, feel good. Everything I do is gonna be funky. That's music coming from Miss Lynn Collins, everybody. One of James Brown protégés, huh? Mama Feel Good. Call her the female preacher, y'all. You're listening to 101.3 FM, 990 AM. It's 8.04 on a Saturday night. And you're listening to famous. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me do this. Where, 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 where my little thing is? 7 to 9, Saturday night, the Famous Brown Radio Show. Saturday night, 7 to 9, be there or be square. Only on 990 AM and 101.3 FM. Rejoice Radio, W-R-E-J. Thank you very much. Coming up at 820, we'll be the real estate lady. She'll be checking in around 820. But right now, I got to do a little bit of Southern Soul. 101.3 101.3 FM. You listen to the hottest Saturday night show in Richmond. Not only in Richmond, on the East Coast, because we're on the internet too, y'all, along with Facebook. Here's Jeter Jones. Ride that black horse. Real fans. 
Get in the house. Get in the house. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in Coming from LJ Echoes, doing it from the back. When you get old like me, Calvin, you got to do it any way you can. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> yeah, you listen to 101.3 FM, 9, 9 a.m. Coming up at 820, real estate lady will be in the house. And uh, we want to let you know that the night show is sponsored by Casino One Result. An entertainment complex. We want to thank them so very much. They the casino of choice right here. And there's nothing they can do right here in 2022 
But trust me, in 2023, they'll be back with me. And uh, we're going to push and we're going to do what we got to do to bring Richmond up to speed by having their own personal casino resort entertainment complex. More than just a casino, but a complete complex with stores, restaurants, movie studio, radio studio, event hall where you can put on shows. I'm going to put some shows on at the casino. I'm going to bring some of these Southern Soul artists that you hear me play on Saturday nights right here. All right, going out. Let's do this for my main man, Mr. Sir Jonathan Burton. Here's his tune called Too Much Booty. Shaking going on in here. Music coming from my main man, Sir Jonathan Burden. Too much booty shaking going on in here. Coming up at day 20, the one and only real estate lady. And I'm going to slow the pace down just a little bit. And I'm going to give you some music by the real estate lady right here on 101.3 FM. This is the famous Brown Show. Baby, come closer. Closer to me, let me feel what you have in store. I keep you coming back for more, baby. Come closer, closer to me. Let me feel what you have in store. I keep you coming back for Come close. 
Before this segment, she was awesome. She got to get a contract right away. Yeah. She need a contract like yesterday. Look out, Beyonce. I don't know who that was, but <laughs> I, I sure like to have her autograph. But anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys had a wonderful uh, Thanksgiving. And I'm going to skip ahead to 2023 right now. Usually on January 1st, what do everyone make a promise to do? Make a New Year's what? Resolution. Yeah. Right. But I'm changing the game on you guys for real estate. You need to make a New Year's strategy. I want to know, do you guys have a strategy for this year when it comes to if you want to purchase a home? Because, yes, we have goals and we make all these New Year's resolutions and goals are great. And then we break it down to smart goals, uh, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and timely. But do you have a strategy for these goals? A lot of people say, I want to buy a house, real estate lady. I want to buy a house. But when I start digging in deep and asking them specific questions, they don't have a strategy to get to that house. And some strategies I want to point out to you, some things you're going to have to work on if you want to buy a home in 2023. Like last week alone, I put two houses under contract in one week, and both of my people had strategies. And one um, couple I've been working with for three years trying to get them a house. But we had a lot of um, obstacles to climb, but we, we beat them. And now we're here. And we're going to be closing next month. So do you have a strategy? You're going to need an earnest money deposit. First of all, you're going to need a down payment, which is different from your closing costs. Those are two different fees. Your earnest money deposit is what you're putting down at the time of contract. And you're telling the seller that I earnestly want to purchase your home. So if you tell them I'm going to put down $100 with this contract, who's scared to lose $100? No one. But if you're putting down 1000 or $5,000, you are showing them that, hey, she got some skin in the game. 
and then you're going to need your closing costs. That's a whole separate fee from your down payment. A lot of people say, oh, I heard you could buy a house with no money down. You're going to need money to purchase a home, period, because you're going to have to pay for an appraisal that's paid outside of closing. So when you go meet your loan officer, you got to give them a check for $450 right there. Mm -hmm. You have your home inspection. That's another $385. I met my home inspector two times this week. I didn't, I paid for his children's Christmas gifts with just my two customers. Mm -hmm. You understand? You have to pay that whether you get the house or not. Okay? And then we need your, um, your uh, down payment, which is if you don't get 100% financing, you would um, pay, if you get an FHA loan, 3.5%. So if you're buying a house for 400000 then times 3.5%, that's your down payment. It's not your closing cost. Your closing costs could be anywhere from 2 to 4% of that fee as well. So my question to your listeners today is, do you have a strategy on how to accomplish this? You understand? So the strategy could be, okay, for the next six months, I'm going to cut off the cable. Mm -hmm. I mean, for the next six months, we will not eat out. <laughs> mm -hmm. You tell your friends no. For the next six months, you know what? I might have to cancel that gym membership that I don't go to anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, you could walk up and down the street. You could save money. You have to have a strategy, just not a goal. Okay. So if you need to save your thousand dollar earnest money deposit, what strategy can I use to get a thousand dollars within two weeks? Even if you have to work overtime or a strategy could be, let me get a part-time job. Mm -hmm. I mean, like Dave Ramsey said, live like no one else. So later on, you can live like no one else. So if you want that house in 2023, forget the New Year's resolutions, forget the goals. We need strategy. And then I can make it happen for you. Trust me. I've seen it done. I've been doing this 20 years. And I don't plan on stopping anytime soon unless I get a record deal. Any record producers listening, because that's long before my segment was me. But anyway, thank you guys so much for okay. <laughs> for listening and tuning in today. And you guys have a great weekend. All right, we like the tips for today. I like that one. Huh? I like that uh, one. Yeah, we need yeah. strategies. Strategy. Yeah, let's do it. Gotcha. All right.
man is home tonight, y'all. Got that right. You're listening to 101.3 FM. 990 AM. Giving you the best of the best. Every Saturday night, 7 to 9 o'clock right here. Hottest Saturday night show on radio. Don't forget to check us out tonight on CW Richmond 65.1 for the Famous Brown TV show where we do it all over again. So glad you stopped by. So glad you've been able to listen all night long. And uh, don't forget, you up late tonight. Turn that TV set to 65.1. You don't need cable to get it. If you don't feel like stinging up, go to YouTube. Go to the Famous Brown TV Show, and you can catch it right on our YouTube channel. And you can always catch our radio shows on the Famous Brown Radio Show channel on YouTube. Don't forget, we want to thank Wayne for calling in from the jeweler bench at 911 East Nine Mile Road down in Holland Springs, Virginia. If you got jewelry around the house, and you want to get it looking good for Christmas, bring it by, let him shine it up. You got a stone missing, he can put another diamond in there. You got a chain that's too short now because you ate too much for Thanksgiving, he can fix that too. Your watch band need to be expanded, or you need a new watch band, or you need a battery. You can get it all done. Or you just want to make something special. You got a piece some some around the house been laying around the house, and you say, I want to make me a piece of jewelry out of this. Go by the jewelry bench, 911 East Nine Mile Road, and you can take that piece and make a pendant out of it. Mm-hmm. Wear it around your neck, put it on, make a bracelet, wear it on around your wrist, but yeah. wear it. How about that, Cam? We got to get you yeah. something, too, yeah. from the jewelry he, bench. He's sort of off the chain yeah. in a good way. Yeah, we're going to get you something. Uh, great, yeah. yeah nobody oh, else. Or the got wife, it. I gotta get her something. Yeah, we're gonna get. Well, when I say I get something for your oh, wife. Oh, I see what you say. Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, thank you. Okay. Yeah, well, I, know, I know she the boss. Oh so. gosh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest about we, it. We love you, honey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get back to more music. Um, we got 29 more minutes. Let me play another Southern Soul, and I'm gonna slow it down, mix some stuff in here, and then I'm gonna do a little shout out for the Casino One Resort Entertainment Complex. Then I'm gonna talk about Thanksgiving. And how we got to treat everybody right. What happened at Walmart shouldn't have happened. This King South, y'all. Got a little bit of Jeter Jones in the background. Southern Soul Cowboy. All we got to do is put a cowboy head on Reverend Bowman. He can look just like a cowboy with that bow tie. Ha ha.
That's King South with a little bit of Jeter Jones. Hey, cuz. Hey, cuz. Southern Soul Cowboy on the Saturday Night Stroll with Famous Brown. Nobody gets down like Famous Brown. I'm going to the phone line. Who we have there? Hello? Famous. Hey, Reggie. Where you? You still in Atlanta? No, sir, man. Brought brought Miss Lady C back home to Richmond, Virginia, man. I got people down there want to know where did they get the car, and I told them they said we need to talk to that man. Oh yeah. <laughs> so how was, how was your Thanksgiving? He lost his mind. He lost his mind, huh? <laughs> he said, "Man, y'all got a classic. Y'all got a classic." <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, one of a kind. So, yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed your holiday. Yeah, well, you know, we got to be a family. You know, the one thing that bothers me, not being too political, because I know we talked to Kyle Sim, Reverend Warnoff is running against Herschel Walker. Uh -huh. They got a commercial where his ex-wife is talking junk about him. I said, now, how low is that for the ex-wife to be campaigning for Herschel Walker against Reverend Warnoff? I couldn't mm -hmm. believe it. And they got Stevie Wonder doing commercials on radio, mm -hmm. you know, telling the important to get out and vote. That's why people wish they got out and vote for this Coliseum. I mean, for this uh, casino. Well, they got another chance next year, yeah. 2023. Yeah. And uh, we want everybody to talk about it. Every chance you get, talk about it. And, yes, sir. Uh, that's the only way it's going to happen. I think people yes, are beginning to feel that they really made a mistake the last time. Well, they know they did. They know and, they did. And then you got... Yeah, but Go ahead. But I got to say, famous real quick, man, the shooting down at Walmart and Tidewater was bad. But look, we down in Atlanta, Georgia, and they had six shootings in the city of Atlanta yeah. on Thanksgiving Day, and mm. they had four shootings the next day. I looked, I said, people think Richmond is bad. I ain't saying nothing bad, but I man, we watching news, well, and they got people doing all kind of crazy look, stuff. Not look, just the Richmond, but down there. Looking at the news about the Walmart, the guy, they said that. Uh, People were teasing him, picking at him. And and what he did, yeah. he got everybody in the room together that was messing with him. Mm -hmm. And got them all, all in the same room and just started shooting all of them. I'm not surprised. Uh, that's what they need to stop bullying. That, well, they were, I don't think they were bullying him. They were just making fun of him. Uh, yeah. You know how sometimes yeah. you you don't like the way a person look and, and, you, yeah. and you make fun. And uh, it, it must. Nowadays, so I mean, be careful. It, it got to him, and you know, they said he bought the gun that morning. Yeah. So, oh no! So he made plans to do it, and mm -hmm. it's a bad situation. But he didn't hurt nobody. He didn't want to shoot. That's, yeah. You know, he did, got. Did, it. did it kill him? Or, or no, or they they no, he killed himself. Oh wow. That's the bad part about it. If you gonna if you want to die, just go and kill yourself. Why you gotta take somebody with you? You know that's yeah, the bad part it. about it. But uh, yeah. pe people are, are angry now, and a lot of people walking around with attitudes, and it's not mm -hmm. it's not gonna take much to make them blow up and go off. So, yeah, that right. What well, they used to take go postal, and then what they used to back in the day. Yeah, people so go postal and you sat in the post office. Old folks used to say a long time ago. It's just don't say nothing, just walk away. That's it. And that's it. Ain't, ain't got nothing good to say. Don't say nothing don't, at all. Don't say nothing. Just leave. Don't say nothing. Because sometimes, you know, an uh, argument can be provoked very, very quick. Cause it, yes, sir. A lot of folks walk around here as a time bomb. Yes, sir. And uh, I don't I don't get in no heavy conversation. Somebody got something smart to say or got an attitude. I just walk on away. 
I don't understand. I do the same thing. You know, I say, hey, God bless you and walk away. I won't even I'm say too that. Old for that. I just got to go <laughs> about my business. Cause you, yeah, no. you could say, God bless you and they go off. I just don't yeah, say nothing. Yeah. I just get on out of the way. But, yeah, I'm going to take that advice and just get out of the way, Calvin. Yeah, I'm going to say nothing. Don't, 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 don't worry about it. Yes, I ain't got nothing to say. I walk yes, away. Sir. And, and let me listen to some more good music, man. We was coming down 95 in Petersburg, bro. Y'all was jamming. Yes, my, Hey, my wife, my wife up there, left foot, right foot. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. I'm okay. holding, I'm holding it. <laughs> All right. Pre appreciate it. Okay. Have a nice Take Christmas. Now, See you, Reggie. All right. You the man. I got to do a little bit of this. Someday at Christmas. The reason for the season. 30 more days.
Lots of music coming from Al Green. Call him Rhythm Green now. But uh, I'm still in love with you. We in the fading minutes of this Saturday night stroll. We got about nine more minutes, Cal. 
Then flew we, by, flew by. We can go home, get some rest, eat some more turkey. Pumpkin pie, got that. Oh, you got pumpkin waiting. pie? Waiting, yeah. Oh, okay, good. Come on over, have people. Uh-huh. Not tonight. Okay. <laughs> What's I, know, I got to get one of them early night. I hear you. But uh, let me say this. If tonight's show is sponsored by One Casino Resort and Entertainment Complex. And we have been supporting that from day one. And we want you to support the efforts that they are making to be part of Richmond. And they're not newcomers to Richmond. Um, Miss Hughes has been here for twenty over 20 some years with her radio stations. And a lot of folks listen to her radio stations, Kiss and uh, Praise 104. And she got a few other stations. So it's not just like she just coming in the neighborhood. She's been part of the community for a while. With the, they have Christmas fundraising. They, you know, a lot of stuff that they do. So we want to salute one casino resort and entertainment complex for picking Richmond for them to come here and be part of the American dream right here in Richmond, where it all started from Jamestown. To now, and uh, not much they can do in 2022 because we had some people that didn't do the best for Richmond, and they tried to make it so Richmond wouldn't have an opportunity to have a casino, which is wrong. But we're not going down that road. The road we want to go to is in 2023. They got an opportunity to vote for the casino all over again. And we're asking you to support it from today until next November when you can vote on it. And uh, keep that in mind and make that your resolution for, not your only one, but one of your resolutions for New Year's is to do whatever you can to bring the casino to Richmond. World Famous Brown, let's get it. World Famous Brown, second time. Second time with a brand new single featuring the one and only Sir Jonathan Green. That's me. Holding down that track. That's what I do. He and I want to take you to the top of the world. I'm 
That's a little bit of uh, Famous Brown, y'all. Yeah. Call that one on top of the world. With Sir John Burton in the background, y'all. Keep it, make it funky. Listen to this. We got to put you in the next one, Cam. All right, I'm ready. All right, that's about it for tonight, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being part of the Famous Brown Saturday Night Stroll. I'll be back next Saturday to do it all over again. Cab will be back next Saturday with me. Yes. And uh, they have them pretty busy tonight between the phone, the Facebook, and the cutting off. We were, we were kind of busy. It was busy night. Yeah. Love it. Thank you for coming, Cab. My pleasure. See you next week. And I'll see everybody next week. This little famous brown telling you, remember me as a delicate wine, sweet with taste and butter while chill, and love for all the pleasures I can fulfill. I am famous brown. These arms are mine They are lonely Lonely and feeling in blue These arms are mine They are yearning Yearning for wanting you And if you will let them hold you Oh, how grateful I will be These arms of mine They are burning WREJ, Richmond, community involved, spiritually uplifting. Rejoice 101.3.